It was the homestay from hell for Billy and Susie on Married at First Sight last night. No, we'll not take any form of lying and no trust. This is killing me. Because you don't like getting caught out in the fact that you talk No, I don't like being treated like Okay, treated worthless and like a piece of You acted ridiculously. No. You can't take it. I'm not budging. I've had enough. Please go. Oh. Alright, she's got him. She's gonna go. He's taking the hat off. She's out of there. See ya. So, is that the end of the line for the trouble couple? Billy joins us now from the Gold Coast. Billy, let's let's get straight into this. I <laughs> love your big kind t-shirt, bro. I uh, <laughs> wonder who that's for. Um, is it over between you and Susie? A simple yes and no answer will do. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Damn it, Billy. Go oh. get me some sugar. <laughs> Damn it, Billy. <laughs> no. Um, you have to wait and see, guys. It's no spoilers whatsoever. But um, I'm a, quite a compassionate person, and you can kind of, if you're a viewer, you should be able to know me quite well to know what I'm going to do, you know? Walk away or give it another crack. Mm, okay. Susie accused you of lying about the last time you went surfing and she didn't hold back, How Billy. I mean, her reaction was pretty big. Do you, do you think it was justified? Uh, no, no. You can see that I don't think it's justified. I still don't think it's very justified. I can understand that uh, you want somebody to be factually correct with what they're saying. Um, I'm, I surf, um, but I kite surf quite a bit um, as well. So I more so kite surf, so I got a little bit confused oh, um, about what she actually right. meant about surfing. So yeah, I can understand that she, these, these white lies do build up and everything, but... Um, but is it even a white between lie? Surfing, is it just a, yeah, between, yeah. a miscommunication? Absolutely. I mean, kite surfing, surfing, sweetener, honey. I mean, really, what yeah. are we drawing a line in the sand here, literally? Yeah, you, can, you can see me, me break there, um, and I find it quite ridiculous that she was... Well, a, a good day was going to be spoiled by yeah. something so elementary and just, yeah. Billy, so I, I, think, like, wh I think the nation the sort of felt for you last night mm. because of how she's sort of acting with you. But also I feel like that there's a level of anxiety here. Like you don't want to let her down. Like you're a sensitive oh, guy. And and I don't know if you do, you know, let's, let's try and be analytical about this here and not be John Aiken. But do you feel like that that's getting in your way a bit? This sort of like not wanting to let somebody down? Yes, 100%. You know, I put my best face forward in every situation and, um, yeah, I was projecting the best of me to her, if you know what I mean, you know. I was really trying to impress her mm. and um, in this certain case, it really came back and beat me. The calendar impressed her. Oh, yeah, the calendar did impress her, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look away. I couldn't watch the screen last night. I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, it comes, this is it said comes there was out. a lot of pixelation going on there. Yeah, no, I have a big oh, screen. Yeah. So there's a lot of pixelation. David was looking at you in widescreen, <laughs> Billy. That, uh, that was quite complimentary on the uh, pixelation. Hey, I was like, there oh, thanks, go. guys. You're looking out there. <laughs> oh, extra pixels. What a bonus. Well, we're glad to see you're still here. Married at First Sight continues tonight at 7.30pm right here. And thank you, thanks, Billy. Thanks, Billy.